All right, gonna show you how to program your TR7 real quick. To a double press on the remote equals six seconds of output um, to roll up the window. With no power to your TR7, you have to turn that switch away from the white connector. That's program on. You can see on, program mode on, is away from the connector. Uh, we have to connect the red wire from the pack 7 to the TR7 to 12 volts. We have to connect the black wire to a ground and the green wire is going to be our trigger uh, that we use to activate the different settings. Let me connect it up and we'll show you what I mean. Okay, here it is in my truck. Um, everything's installed in my truck so I got to shoot it like this. Sorry for that. Um, before I applied power to it, remember I turned program mode on. Um, then I plugged in the harness. I've got red, it's going to 12 volt hot. Black is a ground. And the only other wire I'm gonna use is my trigger wire, which I've got connected to a hot through a switch here. Um, so I can do it while I'm filming. But you would trigger it by touching it to hot. Uh, the first cycle we're gonna go through is 15 triggers um, because we want option 15 and then the second cycle we're gonna it's gonna repeat back to us that we selected 15 and then we have to um, trigger it however many times we want on our remote button press so if we want it a double press in five seconds we would trigger it two times if we want a triple press in five seconds we would trigger it three times and it will repeat back to us how many times that we selected and then we have to program the time. So to do this, after it repeats back to us two or three, however many we picked, you just trigger it once. That enters time mode. Um, after you trigger it once, it's gonna blink once to select minutes. It's gonna blink twice to select tens of seconds. And three times is how many individual seconds. So after it blinks three times, uh, I'm gonna trigger it six times to indicate six seconds. And then after that I'm done, it's gonna go through its blinking cycle and uh, we'll test it. So for now, I'm gonna go through 15 triggers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now it's gonna repeat back to us 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's the right option. So now I wanna double click, so I'm gonna trigger it twice. One, two. If you want three, you'll press it three times. It's gonna indicate how many we picked, one, two. So now we gotta enter time mode. So we're just gonna trigger it once. And then that was one blink for minutes. That's two blinks for tens of seconds. Three blinks for individual seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, we're done triggering one, two, three, four, five, six seconds is our timer, and then it's gonna cycle through its own blinks, which means it's done programming. After it's done doing all the blinks, um, we have to turn off program mode, so we'll flip that switch back to off. We'll flip that switch towards the white connector, and uh, we're done, we'll test it. All right. Here we are outside to run the program after flipping the switch to programming mode off and running all the trigger trigger sequences. So one push, that's factory coming on down. So then during the programming sequence I pick two button press. You can choose three, four, five, however many you want. So in five seconds we press it twice. One. Two, and it's gonna trigger the motor for six seconds because that's what we programmed in and we're done window roll up on uh, OEM remote